welcome to this week's Council Bluffs News. I'm Aaron Zach. They're dirty jobs, but the efforts of many help keep our community clean. We're talking curbside collection and we're taking you out to the streets to recognize the hard work. It's just another day for curbside collection. Try to pick up the garbage as fast as you can and as cleanly as you can. Holden Furler is a driver for Red River Way Solutions. His day begins early. Wake up, go and I get my truck, come back up here. Then he and his crew hit their route. Working as a group, the team picks up solid waste, also known as trash. Yeah, I think for the most part, it's about 20 houses per block. Further says working this job, he's seen it all. Deer carcasses, that's kind of shocker when you, when you just dump the, tr dump the can and there's dead deer and blood all over and you're like, well, okay. For Furler, it's just another day of work. But for others, the most common question is, how do you handle the smell? Don't smell. Don't sniff. After three and a half hours on the road, Furler and his crew unload at the landfill in Mills County before returning to Council Bluffs. And then it's just running the whole route again just for the yard waste. As for the recycled items, those are picked up by another hardworking group. So now they're picking up trash, recycling, and yard waste, different times. It's a collaborative effort by a number of people. It's a good joint process between our, our trash company and the health department. And recycled material is excellent for the environment. When you take an existing pop can, you melt that down, remold it, and make it into a new can, it saves 90 to 95 percent uh, of the energy it would to go out and like get the driller mine for the iron ore, bring it back and, and convert it into an aluminum can. And that's what's keeping the Council Bluffs Recycling Center busy. This is the destination for recycling and yard waste material. Curbside collection is brought here, but residents can also bring material in themselves with a few limitations. The only thing that's really specific to Council Bluffs and Pot County residents is our household hazardous materials. So that's your paint, your rechargeable batteries, your chemicals. From trash collection to yard waste and recycling, people are working dirty jobs all in an effort to preserve the beauty of Council Bluffs. It's nice to be appreciated for some stuff instead of being like, oh, yeah, this is just the garbage guy. He's going to clean up the mess on the street. Yard waste collection in Council Bluffs began April 3rd. The CB Recycling Center asked residents to put all yard waste in containers marked with a Y. Yard waste placed in plastic bags will not be collected. Also, cut branches and limbs into lengths of no greater than 4 feet and use string or twine, not wire or nylon rope to get them together. For a complete list of all the acceptable items, visit councilbluffs-ia.gov. Click on Recycling Center under Government Departments.